Okay, so you've got to kind of work this one backwards. You know that there's 40 millimoles per litre, right? Um, that means, in let's convert this into moles to make it a little bit easier. There's 0 0.04 mole per litre. Then you know that moles equals the mass multiplied by the molecular weight. So we know the moles, which is here, which is 0 0.04. We don't know the mass, so we put a little question mark there. And then, but we do know the molecular weight, which is of potassium chloride, which is 74.5. So how do you get the mass from this? And it would be the mass of potassium chloride inside of one litre. All you do is go 0 0.04 times 74.5 equals your mass. And what that comes out to is 2.98 grams per litre. So this is how much, how much KCL in one litre of the end solution. Right, so you know as well that the solution you're putting it into is a one litre of 0.9% NaCl. This bit is actually a misnomer, so you don't need to know that. You may think there's some sort of reaction between NaCl and KCl, but it doesn't, it doesn't occur. But yeah, that's not the case. All you know is there's a litre of a solution which doesn't have any KCl in it. It may be that they have a question which says um, this is actually KCl and then you've got to take that into account when you add more um, potassium into it. So anyway the key is nothing inside of the litre. You know that somehow this amount of solid got in there. So if we look back at the question um, we can see the options as here, as 2 mil, 2.6, 10, uh, and 20 and 26. So you know from this, that this figure, the question is then, how much of the original solution do you need to generate 3 gram of KCL. Or well, what do you have in stock? You have a 30% solution weight in volume. That essentially means 30% of the solution, so 30 grams in 100 mil. So how do you get 3 grams? Well, you just take off one zero. So you get three grams in 10 mil. And going back to these answers, 10 mil is your answer, C. Okay, the next example, which will pop up now, is about grams of potassium chloride used to compound this prescription. It's a bit old fashioned for pharmacy. Uh, potassium chloride is sufficient to give a total daily dose of 30 millimoles, 30 millimoles of potassium raspberry syrup, 120 mil. Um, to raspberry syrup to, to take 10 minutes 10 mil daily what how many grams of potassium chloride should be used to compound this prescription potassium chloride sufficient to give a total dose of 30 millimoles of potassium it's not plus in the question it says um it says two 250 mil right it doesn't say 120 plus that equals that so where that differs this is this figure here should be 250 over 10 mil and then once you get 2235 sorry uh, point uh, 2.235 once you multiply that by 25 you get which is the answer.
So if we do that from a, a, a bit more kind of clarity, so 30 mils per mole is the 10 mil dose at the end, right? Um, you know that this has to be in a 250 mil, so because it's made up with water. Um, so it's a 10 mil dose, 330, and those are, those are the kind of numbers you need. You know that KCL is 39.35.5 equals 74.5, because you're adding them together, right? Because it's two bits of the molecule. So then you know that you're working from the end solution, which has got 10 mils in it, right? So 10 mils has 30 millimole. Um, we work in moles actually, so 0 0.3, 0 0.03 uh, moles, right, equals 74.5, and then the mass is on top. Remember, this is 10 mils of the end solution. Um, so then that then easily equals uh, 0.03 times. 74.5 equals so the amount of mass and this is in grams in 10 mils that you have is 2.235 grams okay but the question is asking how much do you add to um, 250 mils how much do you add to make um, this as an individual dose so in this amount you will have 10 uh, 10 times or well, 25 times the mass of this which is 250 over 10 times 2.235 and that then equals times 250 uh, so 225 equals 55.875 okay and that equates to answer E. Does that make sense? So next. How many how much of a 10% injection 10% injection is required to make a hundred mil? So this is the A. So you need to know what the volume is. Make a hundred mil of this solution, which is uh, 7.5 milligram in 2.5 mil. Okay, so they're playing around with the, the decimals at the moment. Um, the best way I'd probably figure this out is try um, the initial volume, right? It's 10 grams in 100 mil. That's what you got to know, right? 10 grams in 100 mil. What is this then? What is this as a percent? Try, try and express it. So uh, if you've got 7.5 milligrams, if you've got 7.5 milligrams in 2.5 mil, the question is, is how much do you have uh, in 100 mil? So 100 divided by 2.5, 100 divided by 2.5 equals 40. So if you just multiply this figure by 40, 7.5 7.5 times 40, you get 300 milligrams in uh, 100 mil. Divide that by 1,000, you get your percentage, which is 0.3% in 100 mil. Okay? So the question really is asking you, you're starting with a 10% injection, and 10% means 10 grams in 100 mil. And they're saying, how much of this do you require to make this? Okay, so what you can say is 10 grams in 100 mil. Well, already that's too much, okay? So let's knock off a zero. And that goes one gram in 10 mil. 
again too much so let's go down another figure which is 0.3 gram no 0.1 gram in one mil so how many mils do you need to get to three well you multiply this by three so you end up with three mil in 0.3 gram and you'll find that that is answer A.